So, first chance to get a look at the Maltese duo. Yeah, looking forward to seeing how they work together, how they communicate. Obviously, always going to happen in the Scotch frame. They can also do it in the individual if they'd like. Yeah, my Maltese is not too good, so I'm not too sure what they're going to be saying when they're communicating, but they are communicating, they are talking a lot, which we did say in the studio that certainly for Ryan that felt like they would need to. shot purposely bumped half ball off the red push it to the rail out of the way they they look like they're rushing a little bit you do have to be quick there is a shot clock but it's not that quick yeah you we've do, not heard the beeps yet no and you do have an extension and just their old mannerisms around the table looked look very rushed but it is the first frame and they will be nervous. That's almost certain. I like that, he came around, composed himself, just checked the angle. I think he's okay, I think he's just straight enough. I think he's gonna have to screw on off the side cushion with it. Well, he is. Played well, though. Yeah, played perfectly well. Left the, whenever you're playing a positional shot, you always want to leave the natural angle. The natural angle means that you can just drop the ball in and the cue ball just naturally goes where you want it to and all you have to worry about is the pace. And that's all he has to do here, drop it in dead weight and worry about the pace. And that's pretty good. A lovely start for the Maltese pairing. Dan Gretsch and Ryan Pisani. Solid break. Just come up off the queue at the end. I presume that's deliberate. That's something that he does as a part of his break, but stayed down on it and then just on the last feather maybe come up four inches off the queue and what that will do is allow almost room for the arm to go through to generate the power great control on the break I feel like that's what we've seen on repeat so far in this match everybody's controlling the break really well won't be happy with that shot though no it was the right shot though he, he tried to develop his bad ball early and you have to say he's a tad unlucky. He's just bumped the yellow on and off the cushion. And okay, it doesn't pass in the middle, but he's coming around to have a look now. And I do think that that red that's just underneath his cue there does pass into this bottom right corner should he get the cue ball in the correct place. So he doesn't have to play another cannon. Yeah, and we also talked about what would the dynamics be like out there, and Dehan stood up and made himself available if Ryan wanted it. He didn't try and force himself on Ryan there, but he just wanted to make sure he, he was there if he wanted to discuss anything. I think that's a nice way of doing it. Yeah, and he was talking to him in his seat there. And I like this way. As I said, he doesn't need to disturb anything as long as he gets the cue ball somewhere near where that red is on the right side of the table. He will be able to get to the potting angle and he will also be able to stun the cue ball over for that last red, which will be the one hanging over the middle. The next question would be, does the eight ball pass into the right centre? That would help things a lot. I think it does. I think he's got the pocket, certainly centre of. If he plays it plain ball, cue ball may graze off the edge of the eight ball. Mm -hmm. 
Well, good shot, and Ejan was happy with it. I can hear him shouting from his chair. A question of does the eight ball pot into the right centre? He's having a good look because he's got to screw the cue ball back. Played it nicely. Used the cushion, which is easier to, to control the pace of the cue ball when you use the rail as opposed to screwing back in a direct line. He's had a, a lot of looks at this eight ball, so it's tighter than I thought it would be. Very nicely done. Same as a team event. You're not only letting yourself down, you're letting your other teammates down. It does change things. Red balls in play. Okay, it's Dehan's chance out there then. Dry break from Jez Graham. These who have pockets without playing any sort of cannon, and there is a nice little pattern. These two reds closest to his hand here, one's on the cushion, one's just in front of the yellow. The other yellow, it doesn't pass into this corner, but it passes into the other. If we could leave these two until last. Nice. Tap of the leg from Ryan, that is perfect. Clear the two at the top end of the table. Leave a nice angle on this one to drift down. And these two that are suggested that you'll leave until last. You can just drop the one up the cushion. A little bit of left hand side. Bring the cue ball back an inch. Leave the last red into the left corner. Touch straight. Yeah, we talked about you want to leave the natural angle. This isn't a natural angle. He's got to manufacture it to get there, whether it's one cushion or two. It was two. And he's a fraction too far. So now he's going to have to cannon into the red. He's just pointing at where he wants to contact it. As long as he doesn't go into it too hard, I have an option of landing on it in the middle if he was to come underneath it. Gets it wrong, wanted it fuller. He does have a shot. Kick off the side cushion into the bottom left corner. I think it'll go close. It'll go better than close. It's in, but where's the cue ball? Brilliant pot. He's going to need another. Well, it's offset to the right knuckle, so the only way he can pot it is he has to play across the left side of it. He's playing across the wrong way here. He has to play the other way. Oh, is it going to reach? Wow, what an effort that is from Dehan Kretsch. That's incredible. <laughs> Well, that would have been one for the highlight reel, wouldn't it? I mean, that's as thin as it gets. Always felt like it was just a roll short. Yeah, and it was just to that right knuckle, wasn't it? Yeah. That's why playing across the other way of it would have squeezed the eight ball the opposite way. It's the old squeeze shot where you play across it and it turns it over the other way. it does do is it asks a big question of Jez Graham because not only are these tricky yeah he gets it all wrong trying to bump the yellow below the center pocket because he wanted just to nudge it over the center while staying on the other one down the cushion didn't have to do that of course he could have worked his way around and left it on the cushion and it's going to cost him Pacing around, nervous energy. I like that though. Yeah, I really do. I like that there's almost two brains to say, do this, do that, waste the clock here, 
you have time, use your extension. And I think when somebody is as, as inexperienced as Ryan is out there, I think this is huge for Dijan to just help him. Very conscious of what's happening with the clock and the time. Still talking to him, even though he's now sat down, but he feels as though it's almost work done. That is perfect. He's been very good in this match, Ryan Pisani. He really has. Been the player of the match, hasn't he, for sure? Yeah, no doubt. And on your debut, you have to give credit where credit's due. That's very impressive. And that will do it. The Maltese pairing, Ryan Pisani and Dan Gretsch get the win on the board. Four frames to one. Match number four is up and ready. Always the biggest match of the night. Two winners up against each other. And we're going to start with a golden break. Malta are on the board. Ryan Pisani with the golden break in the very first frame. Check this out. Ryan Pisani has been almost threatening to do this all night because he's been hitting that break so hard. And his night just got even better because I think he's been the player of the night so far. And we talked about him being almost the rookie and very limited experience out in this arena. And, and yeah, it was actually a very good effort when he came down the table to get the cannon he needed. Just, just missed the precise cannon he wanted. But chance goes. Dehan at the table then for the first time in this match. Playing the plant, first shot. This is a big shot. It's a good shot. I think the red next to the eight ball does pass. He's just coming to have a look now if he gets the cue ball somewhere near the middle of the table. Calls in Ryan for a, some assistance. And the way he's played tonight, why not? Yeah. Can't be much room. Key shot then. Mm, can he hold it? He's got a lot of angle. I'm not sure he can. If he can't hold it, has he got to go into it? Or slide by it and pot it into the same pocket as this? Could have done without the nudge. Into it it is, but he's potting it in the corner. But the top right corner. This is nasty because the cue ball is welded to this top cushion. Here and wipe his cue down. Very sticky out there. Oh, what a pop that is. It in the middle. Like it was hanging over the pocket. And in dropping it dead weight in the middle means that he's held the cue ball just enough to be able to cut the eight ball back into the right center. It's thin, but he's favorite to get it. Oh, very good from Dan Gretsch. Ryan Pisani gets ball in hand and a wide open table to get his partnership back in front. Dayan jumped out of his chair so quickly as soon as ball hit that break. It was like he was playing the frame. Uh, hit that shot, I should say. Fitting that it's foul to Brian, who, OK, I know he did miss a ball earlier on in this match, but he has been the player of the night from any team. And the chance to 
put the Maltese duo in a position where they're going to be 3 2 ahead with inside a minute left, probably, if he manages the clock correctly. There is a fine balance between running the clock down and hitting every shot on the on the beeps and focusing on the job in hand and that's to clear up and win the frame not perfect he wants he wanted to walk around the table and have a look and Dijan said no you've got no time not perfect again Oh, it's actually out there all of a sudden. Not perfect again. <laughs> Ooh, this is nasty. Because the natural line is in off into the into the left center, so he's gonna have to play this with a little bit of bottom left hand side. What a pot from Ryan Pisani. Lost the cue ball at the back end there. So second chance for the Maltese pair. Fully expect him to take it this time. Nothing in the way. There's no pressure on it. They're still debating how they want to go about this finish. You get the sense that Dayan gets his way when it comes to those debates. Oh, Ryan's too scared to do otherwise. <laughs> chance of the tricky or congested layout is unlikely. Yeah, it's like an even explosion across the table, isn't it? Leave a lot of good layouts. A chance for Ryan Pisani to put together another really good finish here. Striking the ball nice tonight, isn't he? Everything's yeah. going in the heart of the pocket, hitting it with authority and dribbling anything in. He's punching it. And he still has Dehan in his ear on every shot as well. Cheering him on. Two nil, very nice a reverse clearance for Ryan. Two frames to oh, it's Dayan chasing the eight here. He wants to get involved in the golden breaks. It was a very timid one. Hard to get the eight ball moving at that pace. But he made a ball. That's the objective. dig down on this and screw across the face of it. This 
this is Tehan's natural pace. He always likes to play quick like this. Looks good when it works. They're yeah. flying in. Great to watch. Beautiful finish from Dayan. Yeah, Dayan certainly leading the pattern play again. This is what I want from Urien. That's short. two for the price of one but yeah. that will do nicely no, rather they didn't that makes this plant unmissable fantastic plant though wasn't it from DJ and smashed it in screwed the cue ball off the top rail both going in this time shouldn't make any difference oh dear is he on it Swerving it. Trace of left hand side. I don't think it's a big one. Yeah, lovely shot from Ryan. Only fitting that he comes up with a really good shot to get Dan on the eight ball here. And he takes it off the red for good measure. Brilliant performance from the Maltese pair.